Hi guys and welcome to another video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Gemma. In today's video, I wanted to share some of my tips to help you survive university. I definitely feel like I have some valuable advice for you guys if you are starting off at university or thinking about going or going into your first year in September. I have just graduated university, so I thought I would just share some of my tips that helped me through university and hopefully it can help you guys a little bit as well. So my first tip is to make friends with anyone and everyone. Honestly, it's so important to try and talk to people and make friends. Even if you're shy, just try making small talk in class with the person that's sitting next to you or ask someone for help or whether they liked the reading material and just start small conversations because I think you start to find that when you start going back to those classes you will automatically start sitting next to that person and having conversation with them and then you will gradually probably become friends that way. Alternatively, if you feel a little bit more confident, I definitely recommend joining a club or a society because this is a way that will help to introduce you to people that are interested in similar things. And I definitely think you only need one friend to make an entire group of friends because they will then introduce you to their friends and vice versa. The second tip that I have is set an hour aside every single evening to do your course reading. So whether you are in the bath or in bed, I think it's really important to try and do a little bit of reading because doing some reading is much better than doing none and you will find that it makes such a difference when you turn up to class and you actually kind of have an idea about the text that you're working on. The third tip that I have is to draft your essay as soon as you get the question. I think this is so important because if you already have a structure in place it's so much easier to kind of fill in the gaps with references and secondary resources and quotes and things like that. So my fourth tip is to always take tea or water and snacks to class with you guys. I just find that if you're the type of person who tends to skip breakfast in the morning or you have a 9am lecture and you can't be bothered to make cereal or toast or something, just set up like a flask of tea the night before, fill it up with hot water on your way out and take a breakfast bar or something with you. It definitely helps to keep you concentrated and energized throughout the day. So the next tip that I have is to take advantage of office hours. It's usually when your lecturer puts time aside in the week and allocates it to you so that you can go along and it's very, very relaxed and you can basically ask them for feedback, advice, help. I definitely took advantage of my lecturer's office hours because it helps massively if you ever feel kind of off track or overwhelmed with any of your essays or anything like that. You can go along, talk to them, and usually they're very reassuring and very helpful. And at the beginning of the year, when you turn up to most of your classes, your lecturer will tell you what time their office hour is that year. And what I did is wrote all of them in the back of my planner so that I knew specifically where to find what lecturers and what time in the week I could find them. So that was definitely really helpful. And the final tip that I have is the most important and that is to relax. I can't stress this enough, but it is 100% okay to take a weekend off or to skip a 9am lecture because you're sleep deprived. Your mental and physical health is more important than anything. So I just think it's really important to take the time and relax and have some you time and also to talk to someone, whether it's personal or professional, if you ever feel like you need help. It's really important to find the balance between staying on top of your studies but also not letting yourself get completely overwhelmed with the stress and the pressure. So those were just some of my quick tips. I hope that this really helped you guys out. If you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.